Welcome back to the George Kingdom. I'm Cade. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use the X2Y2 NFT marketplace. They have recently trended past Magic Eden to take in the number two spot right behind OpenSea in the leading NFT marketplaces. So trading on this marketplace allows you to skip the royalty you would give back to the NFT collection. And X2Y2 takes only a 0.5% cut versus OpenSea taking up to 2.5%. So as you can imagine, a ton of people have moved over to use X2Y2 as their primary marketplace marketplace so i want to make sure that people are doing it safely and people know all the ins and outs of it we're going to walk through it today make sure you stay to the end because i'm going to show you exactly how to buy an nft and list an nft on this marketplace i'm going to do it right here with you but before we do click that like button for me it helps me out tremendously and it can get it out to more and more people to help them out as well be sure to subscribe because i got a whole lot more web3 content coming your way if you're already following me on twitter if you haven't joined the joyous kingdom subreddit which i just made go ahead and do that all the links are down below in the description as you know the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate get this metaverse on your own one day so if that sounds good to you let's get into the video building a web3 company or project is hard it's a 24 7 job and most companies struggle to get clients investors partnerships the great news is it's typically just a couple small easy fixes on their content or their website the days of paid influencer marketing are over projects with over a hundred thousand followers are not getting the job done so i set out to find the one thing that does now while making tons of content on my youtube channel i'm also the founder of the joy's kingdom and since the summer 2021 i've been helping other nft projects and companies plug the unnecessary holes that were sinking their own ship and after speaking with hundreds of web3 companies and projects i have found it is truly just a couple small easy fixes that are holding these companies back the good news is whether you're minting soon or you've already minted there is a way to remedy this so if you're struggling with attention if you're struggling with sales if you're struggling with partnerships i currently have six options for collaboration the most popular of course being the brutally honest reviews the link to my website joyouskingdom.com is down below i look forward to collaborating and i'll speak to you soon all right so like i said on dap radar if we go to NFT marketplaces especially in the last week x2y2 has blown past magic eden with over two million dollars more volume traded this is because of all the bad press magic eden has been getting also obviously solana's kind of in the shitter as well and it's crazy to me that x2y2 has just being right past them and if you've been subscribed to this youtube channel you know i've been interviewing the top projects in this space the top leaders and innovators and builders in this space and so of course i interviewed the head of business development from x2y2 just a few days ago if you want to check that out i'll leave that down below in the description we talked about royalties talked about nfts where they're headed the metaverse and all the things that x2y2 is doing for the future and here's their twitter account one thing that i like about x2y2 is how they actually brand themselves as a community as a marketplace and it's a place where people feel safe feel heard and their customer service is great a lot of people have a lot of good things to say one of the main complaints people get about OpenSea is it's too big they don't have enough customer support you know they you send an email to get some kind of verification for your project or some kind of issue and they never get back to you that hasn't been a problem with x2y2 i've only heard positive things i love the way they cultivate their community and are engaging and they just do a great job on their social this is the x2y2's main page here be aware this is important right there's a lot of fake websites out there right even for open or magic eden make sure you have everything right here it's not x2y2.com it's x2y2.io. So first, I want to compare the main pages of x2y2, OpenSea, and Magic Eden, the top three marketplaces as of right now. This is x2y2, so trade NFTs free, 100% trading free rebate for all collections. They take the 0.5% cut, x2y2 does. Uh, and then right now, they also have their own token where you can get up to 36.5% APY. That is the returns, compounded interest, that kind of thing. As we scroll down here, we've got the trending NFTs. We've got the NFT loan, which we're going to talk about, which is really cool. I love this idea We've got the hot collections over across different marketplaces love this by the way you can change to five minutes 15 minutes hour four hours one day seven day 30 day and you can change uh depending on like how you actually want to um to rank them then they have all of their supporters and providers and just people that they work with so a lot of the big ones you're going to recognize, you're going to Rarity Sniper, OpenSea, Uniswap, Nansen AI. I also have a tutorial on how to use Nansen AI as well, if you just type in my name, Nansen AI. And at the bottom here, 100% of the revenue is shared, 100% shared with X2Y2 token stakers. So that's pretty cool. That's why they're able to drive up that APY. Just to compare, this is what the OpenSea's homepage looks like. Just a tad different, right? All the marketplaces are, are they're similar 
right? But they all offer small little differences um, just on their main page. And again, OpenSea has been here the longest. They are the OG marketplace. They're like the YouTube right, of all the social medias, and X2Y2 is potentially like a TikTok. Here's Magic Edens, they could potentially be like Instagram Reels or something like that if we're gonna be comparing social medias, but as you can see, I have dark mode on also, so if you have light mode on, it's gonna be all white. I have dark mode just for my eyes, uh, but they, as you can see, they're all very similar, but they have just small little differences in nuance. So this is the Explore page, and you can actually change these basically on, on recently listed. You can do low to high, ending soon. You can just kinda, this is more for like, almost like window shopping or like eye candy. That's the way I treat these Explore pages. I just kinda I want to see what's going on. If I'm just bored, I'll just do this. Like, I honestly do this probably too often. <laughs> and here's the X2Y2 rewards page, right? So all you have to do to participate in these rewards, again, they share 100% of the profit with the token holders. All you gotta do is click this buy X2Y2 button here. It's gonna take you to Uniswap, right? And all you have to do is click whatever you want to use. Most people just use ETH. So click ETH. Type in however much you want to do. It's going to give you this many X2Y2 tokens back. Once you've bought it, you just come back here. And this is where you can get some of the information you have, like the compounding and the staking, how much you're going to be earning. If you want to participate in like the liquidity pool and stuff like that. So this is really cool for me to see. And then if we go to X2Y2 loans, I love the idea of this. Even though it's more high risk, this is the same as like any kind of borrowing money, any kind of loan money. But the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to sell the NFT that you love to get some of the money that you want out of it, right? That's the problem. When you, especially if you only buy one NFT, you're like, fuck, I don't want to sell this even if the floor goes up or something so you can use these entities as collateral it's a new way to leverage your asset if we scroll down here it actually walks you through exactly how to do all these things depending on what you want to do you can click on your loans your offers you can learn how to lend that eth and actually start yielding and making money you never have to sell your nft technically uh, you can make loan offers to collections or single items when a borrower accepts your offer your eth gets transferred to them and you receive a promissory note nft the borrower pays off the loan to you before due and and your promissory no NFT gets burned. As far as borrowing ETH using NFTs, you pick a loan offer with the best terms for you, you accept it, you receive ETH from the lender, and your NFT gets locked on X2Y2 until you pay it off. Now, then you repay the loan before it's due, and you get the NFT returned to you. So it's just if you need quick money, you know, it's like those TV ads you saw where it's like, hey, like we can just get you this money right now, you can pay it off later. So for step one, all you have to do is choose the NFT you want to set as collateral. And like I told you in the beginning of this video, I was going to show you how to buy and list an NFT, so I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to scroll along the floor here until I find one I like. This one looks pretty cool, 0 0.007 ETH. So now I click on it. This is where I'm at. I click buy now. You can see in this wallet, I have 0.04 ETH in there. No wrapped ETH, which is what you use for offers. And for royalties, because it's optional, like we said, you can pay the full 7.77%. You can pay half or you can select 0%. And now all I'm just going to do is click buy. Of course, I skipped the part where I actually connected my wallet and had an Ethereum wallet, had a MetaMask, all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to assume you already have that if you're watching this video. And if you don't, just type in how to install a MetaMask, how to make an ETH wallet on YouTube or Google. You'll have it done in literally a minute or two. And now here I am on the final buy page. Estimated gas fee of $7.83. I'm going to be paying $10 for the actual NFT. And all I have to do is click confirm. And then the way you sell an NFT, you just click on one of the ones that you own. I'm going to be selling the sneaker box NFT number 628. They don't have auctions yet, but you can do a fixed price. I'm going to click fixed price. It tells you the floor price for the collection is 0.02 ETH. I'm going to list this at 0.15 ETH because who knows what can happen. This is an art collection, right? So these kind of things I list always above the floor just to see if anyone's going to take. I doubt it, but we'll just see what happens. I'm cool with letting that expire after 30 days, but you can choose up to one hour, three hours, six hours all the way up to 180 days. And then if you want to make this a private sale, so sometimes you'll get someone messaging you say, hey, I want to buy your specific NFT. And they'll say, can you private sale me? And before I tell you what that is, never, ever, ever, ever do a private sale. Not like this. This is the only way ever you should do a private sale. I don't care who they are. I don't care. It's not worth taking the risk of getting scammed. Just do a private sale. Ask them for their wallet address and then paste it here in private sale and then post the listing like you normally would and then send them the URL. When they get the URL, their wallet, once they connect it, will be the only one to have access to that URL. So it's a private sale. Don't ever go to some other random website or some swap thing. Like, don't ever do that. You will get scammed, I promise you. So because this is not a private sale, I'm just going to list this publicly. Click the list button. And if this is your first time, you have to approve it for the marketplace to access your token. This is a one 
one-time only operation, so I'm going to approve it. And then this is $1.78, but that's because it's the first time I'm doing anything with this collection. So click on full transaction details. Just be sure before you do anything, before you ever connect your wallet to anything, it's going to say permission request. X2Y2 wants to access and spend this asset. They want to approve this asset for all of your sneaker head NFTs. That's okay. Looks good to me. I'm going to hit the confirm button. Okay, now that the NFT has been approved, I'm going to complete the listing by clicking sign. All right, I'm just going to click the sign button and we are good to go. Hey, list item. Your item is ready to go. Click that button and you can see fixed price 0.15. You can change the price as well if you want to. But there you go. That is all you have to do. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned something. I hope you're not scared. If this is the first time you've ever used another marketplace, it's not scary. It just takes a little bit of time to acclimate to it. Just spend some time window shopping, scroll the different marketplaces, and find which one is best for you. Each marketplace has certain little things and nuances and benefits that are going to apply to each of them. But ultimately, all the marketplaces do the same thing. You're just buying and trading NFTs and digital assets. I would appreciate you guys clicking that like button for me and get this video out to more and more people. Subscribe to the channel for more Web3 and NFT related content content. Very you follow me on Twitter. If you haven't joined the Joyous Kingdom subreddit down below in the description, you are only hurting yourself, fam. If you want to see more of me right now, click on one of these boxes on the side of me. Until next time, continue on your Joyage. Continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video. Bye.